Hi there, welcome back. Hi we there. have our first trip announcement on this new channel. Yep, well, Disney trip announcement. Disney trip announcement. Mm. We're going to Disney and we're really excited to share it with you. It'll be our first Disney trip on this channel. Go on, I'll let you share the details. So, yeah, we're going to Disneyland Paris um, for four nights um, coming up quite soon. Um, first time I've been to Disneyland Paris. Um, we did have a trip planned for last year, didn't we? We had one booked. We had one booked, um, but we did actually cancel it. I can't remember, was it because, because restrictions they came changed. in again? Yeah, by the time we were ready to go, it had all changed again. Uh, and then we realised also, did we really at that point want to go? Whereas we couldn't now, have gone anyway. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. Sorry, it all seems a bit of a blur at the moment with everything, with trips being cancelled and booked and rebooked and cancelled. and So, yeah, got four nights at Disneyland Paris. Where is it we're staying? Hotel Cheyenne. Um, yep. It's the Wild West one. Our youngest stayed there, actually it was last year, he got in just before lockdown yeah, last February, year. Yeah, February wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, him and his girlfriend went. They've Both of our kids have been a couple of times. They love Disneyland Paris. Louis in particular is very excited for us to go. Yep. So that makes us very excited. Yeah. And yeah, I've been in 2002 with a three month old and a two and a half year old. So it's going to be a very different experience for mm. me. And to be honest, I don't remember any of it. I stayed in the Sequoia Lodge and it's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Mm. I don't really remember. It was 19 years ago. Yeah, so I, it feels like a first trip for me, to be honest. And transport wise? Yep, we are going to be driving. Uh, we're getting the. Is it called the Euro Tunnel or is it the so. shuttle or no it's not the shuttle oh, I can never remember. We're, we're getting, Euro we're Star Euro, is the passenger, so I think Euro, we're on the shuttle. So it's the Euro but the Euro Tunnel but we're on the, the shuttle. Can if you we've tell got when that, you if you've got that wrong. <laughs> we're driving anyway, so and getting the, the well, we're getting the, the train, aren't we? Because it's a train yeah. that goes over, but uh, yeah, and then we're gonna drive down to Paris from there. So uh, is it up to Paris or across Kind to of Paris? cross, isn't it really? So don't know. We're a couple of way, uh, hours away from Folkestone, so we're going to stay the night before. We've got yep. friends in the area, so we're going to catch up with them. And you booked an early train, a didn't really you? A really early train. But we just like the idea of being like in our little bubble, don't we? Until we yeah. get there and... Um, we're, we're also the reason for, well, a couple of reasons for sort of driving. We could have got the train, we could have flown, but um, we feel we're going to come in contact with less people. I know we're going to a park. But in regard to the transportation, it just feels like we're just, it's our first big trip. I know if you've seen our videos before, we've done a few mini staycations. Uh, we've kind of been un, in our own car and our own, under our own steam. So we haven't flown yet or got any other type of transport. Um, sort of, uh, so yeah. And I've booked everything fully refundable. I paid yes. the extra for the insurances. I'm still feeling a bit funny about it. Oh, I have to, going. yeah. And I just think if I get cold, if we get cold feet at the last minute, we can pull out. <laughs> so we booked direct with Disney, and then we that's the tickets and yeah, the accommodation, accommodation and the park tickets, and then the tunnel separately. Yep. But yeah, we've paid extra, so everything is fully. I think isn't the tunnel the same as last time? We actually lost out last time, didn't we? Uh, we could move it. But we could No, this one is refundable. This one is yep. refundable this time, yep, okay. This one I paid a little yeah. bit extra to be able to do that. Yeah, so we've got like we're just running through everything. You need so much for the car, you have to print like the statements off and we've got sorting out tests and all that. What were you Yeah, say? just gonna touch on the car. I mean again, if anyone's been before, I mean I've I've had a look at what you need to take. Obviously in the UK you need to take your by the looks of it, you need your V five document, your roadside recovery. Uh, paperwork, the, the, the usual um, requirements for France, having your high-vis jackets in the car with you, uh, I believe the breathalysers, um, the either a GP, GB um, magnet on the car or you can have the flashes on your number plate. What I have read up on those is quite typically in the UK, we've or people who've got them on their number plate, they've had the Euro, oh, okay. you can't have those anymore, it's got to be the Union flag or Union Jack on those with a GB. So that we picked those up off Amazon. Um, We're finding out lots. Um, yeah, just being prepared, really. Oh, the other one is as well. Sorry, yep. just touch on the car. You've also got to. And this is this is would be interesting for anyone that has been and maybe had to answer this. I went to our card garage, and they uh, were, were scratching their head a little bit. You've got to take a spare bulb set with you. Now, by all means, I can do that for the car, 
but most modern cars now are LED lights. So basically you have to change the whole light, the whole fitting. So anyone that's been recently, have they still taken, I'm gonna take one anyway, but there's no point because I can't mm. actually use them. Yeah, they won't it's be It's kind used. of like a bit, but has anyone experienced that or, or had any updates on that, whether you still need to do that on mm. newer cars that you can't physically change the light bulbs? Interesting, but there's yeah. Yeah, been a few things that come up. Um, but let us know, have you done a Disneyland Paris trip recently? And have you got any tips for us? I do have a video to share. We watched, is it like Disney UK Twins or something? Yeah, that, that I, was quite good actually in regard to the test. It was, it it was the, everything, yeah. the practical side of it right now with testing and what you need to take. And we were umming and ahhing. We'd booked it all. As soon as basically restrictions lifted, we booked it that day. Um, knowing that we could cancel if we wanted. Yeah. I was just thinking that prices might sort of like go up or something. But it was watching their video that actually made me think, yeah, we can do this. It's fine. They mm. made it sound really easy. So I will link their video down below. And also things at the moment for us in the UK, if I'm correct, at the current time of this video as us recording, us going over there, we don't need to test before we go as because long as we're fully vaccinated. Full of vaccinated. Um, we've obviously got to make sure we have our vaccine certificate or the app and I know some people have actually got the French health, the French app. health app as yeah. well so it's just getting all those kind of things ready and prepared because it seems to be you've got to show that pretty much anywhere you want to eat so yes. it seems to be a lot lot to take on so it's not just like masks a, everywhere yeah it's not just like a normal trip is it it's just all the other bits and pieces and we decided although we know we don't need four days there four nights we decided that we would like to take a real leisurely approach and also then a break yeah and also then if we feel that the masks are too much we can have some downtime in like our room and chill out for a bit in the afternoon we don't have to go full-on yeah. park days we can just relax for a little bit like possibly many others we were due to be yes in, that's we true, were actually. due to be in in orlando for the 50th um and we we've still got our reservation for magic kingdom on the 50th have we oh my yep. gosh we need to cancel that so somebody else could have that um so we've got all that and that is a little bit disappointing but i don't think it's it's not the end of the world it's not the end of the world we, we, will, we will get there but obviously i think the key part is keeping safe and when we can travel we will be back um but when we're allowed to travel um from the uk um so we thought this is actually a nice kind of thing we can do we can get a bit of disney and again going on the four days it feels like we're having a proper break yeah especially with driving as well because it's a long trip isn't yeah it? and also having the car as well it means we don't have to worry too much about trying to we can take bottled water with us that's more and... thing than what we can buy me there oh that was me being all practical the other <laughs> thing i wanted to touch on obviously we don't know the parks we've been watching some vlogs and what tips would you give us what are your must do's must sees must eats I was what, following a Clary Tale on Instagram stories this week. She's just come back and she had a croque monsieur mm. on a ca in a cafe on Main Street, which looked amazing. Um, we're not picky eaters, but let us know what tips do you suggest? Yeah, we like to kind of try things, don't we? We're not... We've booked a steakhouse, haven't we, yep. inside... Magic yeah, where was where, where did Louis go? Because he, he actually went to one on Disney Springs. Yeah, because that one sounded quite nice, but I can't mm. remember what the name of that one is. Have to ask him. But yeah, um, yeah we like trying things out. So we're not really particularly fussy. Um, really, anything. We tend to sort of graze a bit as well sometimes, don't we? Mm. And what about the rides? I'm excited about Ratatouille. Oh. Yep. I'm yep, excited. And Louis says about the Crush. or oh, what's it? The Crush Coast, Crusher Coaster, or something. Is it Crusher Gusher? No, that's the um, oh that's this, Typhoon Lagoon. This is, this is how much I'm... <laughs> you don't know anything, it mind you, neither do I really. But no, we're really excited. Can't wait for a Disney fix. Excited to go somewhere new. But um, we wanted to share our excitement with you and hopefully we'll have some Disney content on our channel very soon. But let us know, like I said, leave your comments and tell us what you think and have you been and what suggestions and tips you may have. And also if you've got any plans of going as well. Mm. So um, yeah, yeah, let us know. We want to know. Thank you so much and we look forward to chatting with you soon. And yeah. we will be doing Instagram stories and all that. If we do go. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell as well. I'll leave the Instagram link as well in, down there in the description box for you. Mm. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.